Hi there, this is Shauna from The Foiled Fox. Thanks for joining me for this next adventure. In this one, we're featuring the Hats Off Stamp and Die Set by Paper Tray Ink and Ink to Paper Collection. It celebrates the, all the graduates out there, and I think it's going to be really important to do a little extra for them because they may not be able to attend their uh, graduation ceremonies this year. So this is just the way to get that done. So we're going to get started by um, using the, the um, stamp set. You can see it has lots of elements on it and we'll use the hands and the cap this time. Then it has the matching die set and we're also going to be using the new notched um, dies. I love these how they cut a really nice panel with a notched edge and then the, the beautiful bouquet die tag. It's actually a tag. And then, so to get started, I'm putting, I put a piece of Nina white cardstock into a stamp positioner. And you can see I have a, I'm making little tick marks where those hands, um, I put the hands. That sheet that I was using as a guide was just made out of copy paper where I stamped them uh, to get the positioning just right. I often do that on a piece of copy paper so that I don't waste a lot of really good paper. I'm trying to get it right and then not liking it. So this is a way that I can use it for a guide. So I'm going to be stamping these hands and I'm going to stamp them twice to get a good impression. And I'm stamping that one with weather vane, which is a paper tray ink. And then this next one is um, soft stone and it gives a light gray color to it. Now each of these arms come out a little bit different and that's okay because I think each of our arms is a little bit different. And I'm just using, like I say, I made those little tick marks at the bottom um, just to show where the end of the hand uh, is so that I can kind of position it right and then use the guide above to um, make sure that I'm getting the right sort of look. But as you know, each one is a little bit different. So I do use this stamp positioner to get um, a really good impression, but if you're good at stamping it once and get a good impression, then go for it. I'm going to put these um, two hands uh, on here because I, I get impatient and I try to do this. And I the one danger of doing two at the same time is that since they're uh, two different colors is you don't want to touch the dark ink to the light ink hand. Otherwise, you might have little dark fingers on a light hand. I'm just going to finish doing that second stamping here and then we'll be all set and we can go on to the next step. And the next step is going to be to take this out um, to um, use the cap and this cap is a really nice solid image but it has some nice detail to it. And I'm going to start out by stamping a silver one. This is silver metallic. It's by uh, delicata. It's a delicata silver and I'm stamping this twice as well and then I'm going to move it to the next position and I'm going to um, use royal velvet which is a really nice um, dark purple. Now this I happen to like the purple and the gray together but this is a perfect time to use maybe the, your school color colors if you want if you're going to try doing this card that would really personalize it but for this one I'm just trying out some purples this one is amethyst allure which is a medium purple and these are all um, paper tray inks except for that delicata it's really nice to have these uh, little uh, cubes because you can get into small spaces. It really works out nicely. Here's another royal velvet. And then I'm going to move on to doing a uh, silver one. And then the uh, finish up with the amethyst allure. And then with that done, I'm going to take um, this out of the positioner and I'm going to use the little tassel stamp. It is adorable. And I'm going to stamp um, a tassel on each of these caps using the Delicata Silver. 
and I'm going to put them in different positions because after all these hats have been th thrown in the air and those tassels will get would go ever which way and with that done I'm going to now cut out um, this panel using this um, these notched dies and see how it makes that nice notched edge and then I'm going to use bitty big paper it comes in lots of different the polka dots and a plaid and some stripes but I'm using the plaid and I'm going to kind of position it um, mark it where I want that positioning to be and then I'm going to cut a quarter inch away from that so a quarter inch bigger on all sides now just a note about the biggie big bitty big paper it does come in all the colors that the ink colors are for um, paper tray they are all colored matched now I had cut out of foam another um, notched panel and I'm just trimming it back just a little bit just so it will fit on the back and um, before I do that I'm uh, before I position that one I'm going to put some double stick tape on the back of this panel and mount it on my card base my card base is a white card base with just a little bit bigger slightly so I have a little bit of a white border showing and now um, I'm going to um, stamp the sentiment and this is using a piece of black heavy cardstock I've used some anti-static powder to um, make sure that I don't have as much have um, little uh, embossing particles showing I've stamped up the hats off sentiment that's included in this stamp, this stamp set I've stamped it with Versamark ink a clear ink and now I'm going to um, add some white embossing powder now um, if you get any uh, little flecks that you don't want that are little errant ones just take a little brush and brush them away and you notice that I put powder on it two or three times I find that that gives me a better impression uh, you know it goes on better it gives better coverage and now I've heat embossed it and I'm going to use the dye and kind of position it you can see it's not as long as the die is but that's all right because we're going to cut it off anyway so now with some neutral twine I'm going to um, wrap it around a couple of times kind of get an idea where I want it to be and then uh, and arrange it just so and then I'm going to take uh, some a piece of um, just regular scotch tape and I'm going to tape it down and scotch tape works out really nicely it does hold it um, while you're you're working with it but also if you need to uh, make it a little bit tighter you can just pull those strings on the back side and it'll and just make it a little tighter with that done I'm going to take yet another piece of twine and I'm going to thread it through the hole of the tag and wrap it three or four times just to give it a decorative um, accent to the tag and it just takes threading that through it's pretty stiff twine so it can work sort of as its own needle and then with that done I'm going to take another piece of scotch tape tape it to the back and then trim off the little edges and now I'm going to position that um, first though let's put the panel on this again I'm using double stick tape my behemoth double stick tape dispenser I just love that it has tons on there so I don't have to reload it a lot with that in position now I'm going to take a little liquid glue I like to use liquid liquid glue for this um, kind of um, uh, adding this kind of tag because it gives me a little bit of time to move it around but it also uh, once it dries is really secure and so there we have it this um, great and kind of fun um, graduation card that you can send to anyone it's kind of unisex it just depends on what colors you choose and uh, I have really enjoyed making this one I just love how those notch corners and the um, how it matches up also with the plaid paper in the uh, in the bitty big collection I hope you enjoyed this um, project as much as I did uh, if you want to see more pictures and get more info, then pop over to blog.8topaper.com. Um, you can also go over to um, 
coiledfox.com. The products are there also. And here is a list of a few of the products that, the main ones actually, that I used for this project. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure. I hope to see you next time. If you have a chance and you haven't already, please um, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.